uh, now let's have the uh, next session. So uh, this session named as uh, uh, alternative, alternative data and open innovation. Uh, we are now uh, engaging in the alternative data and open innovation uh, work uh, at each company. Uh, so uh, firstly, so uh, let's introduce uh, ourselves now. So my name is Takayuki Watanabe at the FinTech uh, KPMG Consulting. Uh, I'm now engaging in the uh, FinTech innovation and so leading the open innovation team in the FinTech Japan. So uh, yeah, next solution, please. Thank you. Uh, my name is Masahiro Shoji. I'm working for uh, KPMG and uh, in charge of FinTech and uh, open innovation. Thank you. Next, next time. Uh, so thank you for having me. Uh, my name is Masashi Tsujinaka, uh, CEO of Nowcast, uh, one of the leading alternative data player uh, in Japan. Thank you. I'm, my name is Hiroshi Kanesaki. I am a business development manager of Sompo Japan. Uh, Sompo Japan is an insurance provider, and I'm in charge of responsible for the open innovation project and new business area. Thank you. Uh, let's start the, our presentation. The firstly, the, uh, please uh, show my slide now. Yeah, so the possibility of alternative data and please, ah, so Next slide. So yeah, it's my bi biography, and so I'm now reading the open innovation practice uh, in KPMG Japan. And uh, so my background is Toyota and DNA, and uh, so Sega games. Uh, I, uh, my, I have the experience of the uh, corporate planning and. So product development and in, in the corporate uh, corporate planning. So I am focusing on the investor relations. So I have the knowledge of the uh, capital markets. The firstly, the purpose of this session is uh, uh, aiming to uh, promote the use of alternative data in Japan uh, by understanding firstly so the current situation, current situation. And uh, secondly, is uh, to understand the challenges of uh, using the alternative data. And uh, third is uh, future plans. The, uh, the, this uh, session is consists of three presentations. First is uh, from Masayori Shoji, uh, KPMG Consulting. Uh, he uh, mentions the current state of alternative data usage. And uh, second is uh, from Naokyasto, uh, uh, Tsujinaka-san, uh, he mentions uh, alternative data, monetization directions. The third is uh, uh, from Kanesaki-san, uh, some holdings. Uh, he uh, presents the uh, open innovation in the insurance industry. Now, we uh, like to uncover issues uh, in the usage of the uh, alternative data and exploring the possibilities of using alternative data in Japan uh, to the world. Okay. Uh, the first thing, so uh, the alternative data for capital market is uh, so the oh, uh, many people say is that the alternative data is a uh, uh, revolutionary idea of creating alpha. Uh, is it true? So uh, the second is uh, the way uh, to is it, is it a way uh, to manage the unsystematic risk, the each company's risk, uh, but the also the systematic risk management is uh, also the key issue, I think. And third is uh, uh, to organize uh, additional investment opportunities. Uh, is, uh, so for example, so the, in the in ESG uh, situation, the, to evaluate uh, each company's ESG activities is a uh, uh, key issue uh, to create the alpha uh, in the investment, uh, investment uh, World. So, uh, and next one is uh, so alternative data for product development. Uh, so the first is uh, so many people say so uh, how can how can we so leverage the existing data? Uh, for example, so insurance data. They com to combine existing data with the alternative data. Uh, is it is it profitable? Uh, it is a. Uh, uh, so one of the uh, main issue uh, of the alternative data for product development. Product development. And the second is uh, the uh, how is a way uh, to define the customer journey. The, the, 
the many people say uh, to use alternative data. So redefine, redefining the customer journey uh, is possible. Uh, oh, is it true? Is it true? The, this is a second issue of the uh, for the product development. The the third one is uh, uh, to enlighten the way to develop new business. The for example, so some companies uh, are using the patent data and based on the database of the patent data uh, to uh, find the new way. Uh, to develop and to develop the new business, uh, so some company provided such, uh, such kind of service. Uh, this is a uh, so another uh, so merit uh, to use uh, pro uh, alternative data for product and business development. Uh, so many people say so. So, but uh, we have to uh, understand the current situation of the alternative data and uh, the future. Uh, plan uh, correctly through uh, this uh, session uh, from uh, knowledgeable peoples. So, uh, firstly, so we have to understand the current uh, situation correctly uh, from Masayori Shoji. So, he present the current situation of the alternative data. Uh, yeah. So. Thank you, Watanabe-san. Uh, yes, uh, I have, uh, yeah. please, okay. Uh, I mentioned about the uh, trends of alternative data in Japan. Um, I have delivered uh, many uh, new projects, uh, uh, new service, and uh, new business uh, with technology. And digital. So I think uh, digital is very important, but and, uh, data is also uh, important. So, but uh, there are quite few uh, presentation and discussion about the data. So uh, we start a presentation about the data. <coughs> yes, uh, I present three contents: trend in data and uh, utilization in Japan, and uh, <coughs> Enterprise Alliance for Data Utilization, uh, it's a uh, from case study, and future challenge and opportunity in the use of alternative data. Uh, trends in data utilization in Japan is here. Uh, there are a lot of uh, movement in the data utilization in Japan. Uh, Uh, digital transformation is becoming an urgent task in Japan. So as the Japanese government infers the need for the establ establishment of the digital agency. In particular, the import improvement of productivity and the revolution, re resolution of organizational issues through the use of data are increasing its impact, importance. And the government and the related organization are developing the laws and the infrastructure for better use of data, such as the concept of super city and evidence-based policy making called EBPM, and many financial institutions thinking about using alternative data to make a difference on asset management. So this is the current situation. So uh, we need some case study from press release. The first case is alternative data platform for financial, financial institutions. This case is alliance of Quick and Morgan Stanley MFG Securities. Uh, Quick is famous for providing financial data as a member of Nikkei Group. So they announced that they signed an MOU with Morgan Stanley MFG Securities to discuss about opportunity to utilize alternative data. In line with this, Quick has started to build a platform to provide alternative data for the Japanese market. So it's a very uh, significant platform. Next. Uh, next case is uh, composing investment product with alternative data. 
Sumitomo Mystery DS Asset Management signed a business collaboration agreement with NTT Docomo on December 1st this year. They will establish the first investment trust in Japan to use alternative data provided by NTT Docomo. As you know, NTT Docomo is a telecom company and has a lot of data from mobile phone, such as uh, demographic data and flow population and density by small area. So they use these data uh, to make a new product for uh, asset management. Next case is for insurance. Sumitomo, uh, sorry. This year in April, Tokyo Marine Holding, in collaboration with Hiroshima University and Axel Space Corporation and Hydrotechnic Institute, agreed to research predicting the outbreak of lead tides called Akashio that cause damage to marine resources. They will provide new service such as notification for fish farmers and min minimize the damage so they can calculate the risk for insurance. And next is developing products prediction service with medical big data. Daiichi Life and Hitachi have developed, developed a new service to predict a number to visit hosp hospital by utilizing the analytics know-how cultivated in Hitachi's medical cost prediction technology based on the medical big data, which Daiichi Life has accumulated over the years. This service will take a new market that was a uh, uh, new uh, market. They don't tap it. So these case uh, uh, represented uh, alternative data use case and uh, needs for the market, I think. So but uh, there are many challenges and opportunities in the use of alternative data. I think there are three uh, challenges to use the alternative data uh, include uh, these three uh, uh, issues. First is regulation. Uh, uh, alternative data is, uh, has not uh, make uh, legal uncertainties, such as insider or some privacy or many uh, insert uncertain uh, regulation is there. And the data source company due diligence is now uh, needed. So uh, it's a regulation. So we need uh, some <coughs> due diligence checklist or uh, others. And the next is uh, indicate talent. Uh, talent uh, means uh, both uh, financial business skill and uh, data analytics skills. Uh, both skills are very important, but uh, there are very few uh, members uh, in the financial market. So, uh, and uh, another skill about uh, infrastructure uh, to form a company wide data management architecture is uh, very few members. Uh, it's an uh, indicated talent. The third uh, issue is cost. Uh, difficulty to calculate the effectiveness of the data purchase cost. So it's very uh, difficult uh, to calculate the ROI. Uh, so we need more success case to get return by using alternative data. And uh, this chart is uh, for the future for alternative data. The use of alternative data will be an essential part of investment management in the near future, not just in the area of quantitative investment management, but also for opportunities in the financial business, uh, like uh, asset class diversification and the ESG investment, uh, blah, blah. 
So, uh, for example, uh, increase of demand data use an expansion of the coverage of AI in an um, area fintech. So, there are many uh, AI is needed, but AI need uh, data. So, if you use the uh, same data, uh, output is also same. So, to differentiation is more new data or variety data. And uh, asset class is uh, more di diversification, so such as uh, green finance and supply chain finance or other finance uh, about uh, ESG or not. So <coughs> these uh, new asset class ne need more metrics and fundamental data. Uh, alternative data is uh, uh, very likely this uh, data. And the uh, third one is uh, optimize the ESG investment or uh, some uh, new framework uh, like uh, SASB uh, financial uh, accounting uh, framework. Uh, these framework need more uh, new data, but uh, company cannot uh, provide every data from one company. So everyone need more data uh, like uh, alternative data. So there are a lot of opportunity to use alternative data, I think. So. Yes, uh, my presentation is ended. Okay. Uh, thank you for Choi-san. And yeah, please move to uh, Tsuji Naka-san. So, Let's make a presentation. Oh, thank you very much. Um, so, uh, yeah, hello everyone. Uh, thank you for having me again. Uh, so this is Masashi, um, CEO of Nautilus. Um So Nautilus, uh you, you may have heard uh, uh, it before, I hope so, but maybe you may not. So uh, Nautilus is the uh, actually, uh, you know, one of the leading alternative data uh, platform in Japan. So, which provides the uh, point of sales data, uh, point of sales data, uh, JCB data, uh, T point data, and so on and so on. So, I uh, have been involved in this uh, field for around like five years. I formerly worked as an uh, economist in the Bank of Japan, and then I moved this. Uh, I moved to this company uh, five years ago, and then uh, been involved in this field uh, for a long time. So here, I'd like to introduce uh, what I have learned through this uh, like process, and then uh, what is the like, current status of uh, Japanese alternative data, and then what kind of use cases are currently available. So uh, first of all, uh, let me introduce uh, the like, overview of the uh, current status of alternative data industry and the implication to the Japan. So uh, as you may know, so alternative data is one of the uh, most uh, rapidly growing market in the world. So basically, uh, it is projected uh, like a two billion uh, industry uh, on an annual basis. And then uh, basically, uh, hedge funds or institutional investors are leading this expansion. And then uh, there are lots of varieties of alternative data are now available in the market, uh, like uh, consumer transaction data, geolocation data, satellite images, or uh, web scraping data, and so on and so on. So, um, but actually, there are some uh, diversifications or you know, differences among the like, popularity of the alternative data for each uh, each categories. So, uh, basically, uh, consumer transaction data or geolocation data are you know, most well used data set. And then uh, you know, on the other hand, uh, some other data sets like uh, satellite images uh, might need more use cases. And then I think uh, this is the same as Japan situation. So um, you know, people are taking a look at the uh, you know, alternative data in a different way, um, you know, as the like, uh, you know, uh, as it depends on the uh, investment style of uh, each of the investors. So, uh, you know, some companies 
focus on the like TMT sectors, so they might not need uh, point of sales data or satellite images, but they prefer like up usage data from like up Arnie or up uh, you know up Topia or something like that. Uh, on the other hand, um, you know, some mutual funds might need like long term insights of the like business cycles, so they might need uh, the like credit card data, which covers the like extensive uh, you know field of. Uh, businesses uh, rather than the like a specific industry focused of alternative data. So uh, actually, uh, you know, in this uh, in the context, now case is focusing on the uh, you know Japanese uh, alternative data, especially consumer transaction data. Uh, the reason why here is that uh, uh, you know we feel this is the most popular data set and effective data set. So uh, Nowcast is basically the uh, alternative data platform um, which covers the like, representative uh, alternative data holders in Japan. So for example, uh, you, know, you might have heard of like, Nikkei. Uh, so they are a great company, a uh, great uh, media company. But actually, they also have the point of sales data set. Um, so uh, this is this was our first starting point. So we started to develop the like price index based on their point of sales data, and then calculated on a daily basis, and then we shortened the time rack uh, to like two days. So it is much faster and more granular, and then uh, you know more insightful than the traditional. Uh, data sets from government, which is updated on a monthly basis and which has the time lag of like a one month or more. So uh, we started this business uh, by uh, doing like that. Um, then you know we expand. We have expanded our partnerships from Nikkei to JCB through data Rockstar point of sales data provider or T Point BCN or some other data providers. So um, so basically. Uh, what we feel here is, uh, you know, Japan is quite behind the, uh, you know, uh, other parts of the world like uh, U.S. Uh, in terms of the maturity of the data set. So uh, to, uh, you know, create the ecosystem of alternative data, well, we feel uh, we need to bridge the gap between the data holders and the like data users like hedge fund or government institutional investors. So that's why uh, we, uh, we create a platform to bridge this gap. So, um, you know, we basically, um, you know, uh, create the, like a, uh, you know, report or like a web portal or, uh, you know, user-friendly Excel file uh, so that like, a, you know, uh, data users can easily analyze the data or like extract the insights, um, you know, uh, in a simple way. So, um, you know, basically, uh, uh, if you need this, uh, you know, if you need to create this type of service, you need to have a like uh, quite uh, long uh, value chain internally. Uh, uh, from like procurement of the data set, uh, data cleansing, and uh, insight, uh, you know, indexing or something like that. So uh, you know, we here uh, have this process, and then be, uh, we believe that we will be able to uh, bridge the gap between the data holders and data users, uh, you know, by holding this uh, process internally. So uh, to wrap up the uh, uh, sorry, uh, and then actually, um, you know, this uh, journey has been uh, quite successful so far. So that's why uh, you know we could uh, you know we could gain the like uh, uh, track records um, of usage by the government or central bank as described in this chart. So, uh, you know, to wrap up uh, my presentation, uh, let me introduce some uh, interesting insights from our recent data set. So, as you might be aware, um, uh, the third wave in Japan is coming, so especially in Tokyo, Osaka, or Sapporo area. So, we try to uh, visualize the 
uh, uh, you know, uh, consumption trend of each of the regions. So unfortunately, you wouldn't be able to do this type of analysis uh, by the traditional data sets of public statistics because the data set uh, is only available by the nationwide or it is available by like a uh, one or two months time lag. But we here use the JCB data to illustrate the uh, you know, consumption trend of each of the regions. And then as you might uh, find here, so the red shirt uh, is declining uh, you know, significantly compared to other regions. So this is basically Hokkaido, so the uh, north uh, side of uh, Japan. Uh, so uh, basically, uh, you know, they, uh, they are the uh, most affected region and then uh, it implies some necessities of the uh, like additional uh, policy action or something. And then uh, here uh, I checked the like a recent uh, reaction in the uh, you know uh, food or beverage sectors. So uh, you know uh, basically food and beverage sectors are not that bad. Uh, you know, uh, compared to other uh, sectors like, uh, you know, as amusement parks or, uh, you know, food services or something like that. But, uh, you know, some uh, products are negatively affected. Uh, for example, if you take a look at the, like, uh, uh, left side of this chart, so this is the, uh, you know, uh, this is from supermarket point of sales data, and then you would find that uh, you know year-on-year -year growth rate of the female makeup products or skincare products declined significantly. So because people uh, wear masks, so they don't need to uh, like uh, makeup themselves. So that's why uh, their growth rate significantly declined. So th this. Uh, implies the uh, negatively to uh, the like uh, some uh, representative companies like Shiseido or Kose. On the other hand, some food companies are positively affected, like a yogurt company, uh, like Morinaga Milk. So Morinaga Milk recently introduced the new product, so it is uh, pretty uh, positively affected. And then uh, some like uh, alcoholic companies are also positively affected. Uh, so, uh, especially the uh, new product launch of Kirin uh, Holdings was successful and they gained the market share. So these are the things you will be able to extract the insights from alternative data in Japan. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tsujinaga-san. Kaneshaku-san, please describe the, uh, in terms okay. of the product development. Okay, thank you for having me here. And my name is Kiyoshi Kanesaki. I'm a business development manager at SOMP Japan. Uh, SOMP Japan is an insurance, PNC insurance provider, and I'm responsible for the business development in the area of the new business and also open innovation. I'm leading several projects, and uh, some project is really uh, close to the alternative data. Today, uh, firstly, uh, I would like to explain about SOMP, and uh, after that, I would like to show some ca use cases of alternative data in the insurance industry. You know, insurance industry is a kind of the data business. Uh, insurance, insurance is based on the accident rate, and also we are following the laws of large number, but alternative data is changing uh, the product development in the, in the insurance industry. Here shows uh, our corporate profile. Somp Holding uh, is a company, 36 billion US sales revenue annually, and we have four pillars of our business, domestic PNC insurance, overseas PNC insurance, and life insurance, and also the new non-insurance business, such as uh, nursing care. Somp Japan uh, is the largest entity under the Somp Holding, and we are providing the PNC insurance mainly to the Japanese market. Uh, market. Here shows uh, our known insurance businesses. We have been expanding our business portfolio around the insurance business. For example, uh, you know, we, Sompo, uh, has a company provide the load assistance service. 
and another company provide operates nursing care house for the elderly people. And also, big feature here is the Palantir. Uh, we have an alliance with Palantir and set up new joint venture company in Japan in this year. We are uh, aiming to uh, provide holistic solution <coughs> to, client, to our clients, not limited to the insurance. We are trying to be on the insurance. From now on, I would like to show some use case of alternative data in insurance. There are two typical examples here. Uh, one is uh, autonomous uh, old insurance. The uh, another one is uh, building insurance. You know, auto insurance based on the accident rate uh, traditionally. If you buy uh, insurance policy at car dealer or anywhere, uh, you will, uh, you need to submit uh, type of car, uh, your age, and uh, purpose of driving, something like that, you need to submit a lot of information. Insur insur uh, insur insurance company uh, estimates your risk premium uh, based on the historical accident rate. This is a uh, simply said uh, insurance. But now, in the, autonomous, in the, in the automotive insurance, uh, telematics insurance is becoming more major, becoming more popular. It uses uh, driving behavior uh, to calculate, to estimate the risk premium. This is uh, what, we, what happened in the automotive insurance. It, it is the same thing in the building insurance. In Japan, some of the insurance, insurance company trying to use geographic risk in consideration with the traditional data. Because uh, recently, flood risk is becoming more uh, bigger. So that trying to utilize a hazard map in Japan uh, to consider the flood risk for the risk premium. This is what we are doing now. N let's show more about uh, telematics insurance here. In 2000, in 2000, in early 2000, uh, telematics insurance uh, started and becoming pop more popular now. The framework of telematics insurance is he here. Uh, insurer provides some de equip devices to the, to the client and user use devices and the insurance company get driving data uh, through the M2M pro data provider or something. And after that, insurer uh, scoring the driving behavior. And uh, if you are a good driver, you may get a uh, premium discount based on the your driving behavior. This is uh, what we would, uh, this is the scheme of the telematics insurance. And uh, now, uh, telematics auto insurance is becoming more and more popular because the users can get the benefit from the precise risk analysis. From now on, I would like to explain our open innovation activity uh, to how to utilize alternative data more aggressively. Uh, before going to the use case, I would like to explain two keywords of our data strategy. One is real data platform. The other one is new customer value. The real data platform means uh, put our business data into one place and trying to get insight from the data. And uh, we have uh, insurance data, and also we have non-insurance business in the area of mobility, nursing care, and healthcare area. We are trying to combine those data and uh, get new value, trying to extra extract new value uh, from the data, utilizing with data analytics technology uh, from collaboration with, in collaboration with Palantir. This is what we were want to do now. Here shows the example of our open innovation activity for towards the next insurance. We are working with Smart Drive, which is a Japanese mobility startup. Uh, they are provide they, they provide unique driving sensor app and uh, driving data, mobility data platform. And 
On the other hand, Swamp Japan has uh, accident data, tra mainly traffic accident data. We are trying to combine those things and uh, trying to develop human-based transportation insurance. In the world of the Mars, uh, we, we, we need to uh, select uh, much more so that we insurance also changing to covering the all of transportation in the one place. Here shows a, uh, another example. So, uh, we are trying to the new solution uh, create with Palantia and Paramount Bed. Uh, we are operating some care and uh, trying to the utilize uh, all of the real data, sleep data or op daily operation data to uh, improve the productive operation. And also that we are trying to uh, utilize data in the uh, variety of the area, agriculture, cyber security, industrial IoT, so, so on. Uh, as a conclusion of the, uh, uh, my presentation, uh, in the insurance in industry, alternative data is already uh, started to use. And also, uh, this torrent tendency is continuing to expanding. And important thing is how to uh, manage open innovation. Uh, you, you know, the real data is really variety. There are really variety of data. So that how to select good data, variable data, and trying to uh, employ this is this is really important, I think. Thank you very much for my presentation. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much for your presentations. Uh, so I think so in this session, so the first resource uh, uh, mentions the, there is uh, some kind of so ROI issues or uh, so any other issues. And so there, but there is a uh, uh, very bright future plans in the alternative data uh, world. So, but so in this session, so the Tsujinaka san and Kanesaki san uh, shows the uh, the use cases and uh, there is a. I think so. The from from your presentation, uh, alternative data is very profitable. Uh, so, <laughs> so uh, the, I think the uh, the ROI issue is uh, already solved in the uh, yeah, uh, in this session. Uh, but but some people say that. So, for example, so active investors. Uh, so uh, so some people say so uh, so ROI is not good. And uh, but and so the passive uh, so. The active investor say so, and so passive investor uh, say so. Uh, there is no use, uh, use uh, so. Uh, there is no use for the uh, alternative data. Uh, so, um, and so, so there, there is some uh, some people say so. Uh, so an another side, so the in the product development, so the some people say so. Uh, so how how do we use uh, alternative data? Uh, so uh, I think there is uh, uh, some issues uh, remained, uh, but uh, so we have to present uh, the alternative data is very pro profitable. Uh, so uh, please uh, say. So uh, 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 so I think uh, uh, alternative data uh, you know, still requires some like successful use cases especially in Japan. So uh, I think I've already explained a lot about how to use in the context of like uh, asset management or investment research field. And then I hope uh, it helps you to consider about like uh, how to use alternative data in Japan. But at the same time, as uh, Kanesaki-san explained, I think uh, uh, we also need to find out like uh, uh, some other use cases in other contexts like insurance. So. Uh, yeah, I think I like to pass uh, to <laughs> yeah. Kanesaki-san in that context. Yeah. Okay. So from the insurance perspective, uh, alternative data has a potential to use not only insurance, but also risk control. It mm -hmm. means alternative data be able to uh, make it possible to prediction in mm -hmm. the variety of the area. It is really beneficial for the insurance company because uh, we expense uh, insurance fee, uh, insurance for the client after the accident, but uh, prevention of the uh, incident is really beneficial for the cri mm. both client and also the insurance company in terms of the financial. And uh, 
so, social value. There are social value. So that we, I'm thinking that the alternative data is really valuable for the insurance company because of the if we can use this for the risk control, especially for the prediction. This is my perspective. Yes, thank you. So there are many issues to use alternative data. Uh, main issue is cost, but the cost uh, is uh, not uh, <coughs> uh, under uh, cost cannot understand the, the uh, is uh, uh, to use budget in the enterprise company. Uh, many enterprise company has a budget, uh, but uh, if you use the budget uh, to uh, to get approved from a higher management. But the uh, higher management need more uh, uh, effective uh, <coughs> need or ROI uh, to approve these uh, using budget. So, but alternative data or some other digitalization budget cannot uh, calculate uh, or estimate the uh <coughs> return of uh, investment. Uh, so, uh, I think the uh, important thing is uh, uh, use budget uh, without uh, ROI. So, <laughs> use budget. So, faster use budget also. And uh, uh, second thing, uh, I think these uh, issues cannot uh, 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 these, these uh, issues cannot uh, estimate uh, uh, each company. So we need to uh, uh, make a new association to use alternative data. So now we, uh, I and Tsunaga uh, san, and some other uh, alternative data and the financial institution company uh, planning to make a new alternative data association. It uh, will make uh, in the next year, April. Yes. <coughs> Uh, thank you. Thank you for your uh, presentation. And so, as uh, so I mentioned, so the, in Japan, so new alternative asso uh, data association is uh, planning to launch uh, in recent days. So uh, I think it uh, solves so many alternative data issues and change it uh, more profitable. Well, uh, <laughs> uh, okay. So, the, the another image. So uh, thank you very much for your attention to this session. And uh, if you like, so please contact us. Uh, feel free to contact us, and we uh, uh, directly communicate with you. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.